Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Um, this is a video tutorial instructions to kind of show you how to use my latest deck, which is my ninth Oracle, which is called Chords. Okay. And this is a karmic, uh, shadow deck is about the chords that kind of bind us uh, to other people, or that could be preventing us, uh, from going further or preventing the person from going for further, um, or changing, um, lessons and things like that could be holding a, a person back or they could be going through this at the time. Okay. Um, so energies can change at any time, but I'm going to go through, uh, quickly, um, as I can through each card here. And then I'm going to show you how you can use them with the rest of my oracles, as well as a tarot and, um, a clarifier. So for the clarifier, I'm going to use Island Time Wellness, uh, love oracle card and then the tarot is the uh, hocus pocus tarot and then like i said i'll use all nine of my oracles at the end of this video to give you a sample reading of how to use them um, together okay so let's go ahead and get started and go through each card here so we have here arguing over something on social media. So this is going to be something that, you know, somebody saw on social media and it caused some type of disagreement. And then we have miserable wakes up just to project their misery on someone else. So this is someone that's just not happy in life. You know, maybe it has to do with their relationship, their job, but they're just miserable. And they're just like, you know, that's all they have right now is to be, you know, in this misery energy. And then we have false spiritual person takes credit for other people's creations ideas. So this is, I've had this happen uh, to me. So this is somebody that, you know, will like to uh, create whatever you created, but kind of put their name on top of it as if it's their own and, you know, try to sugarcoat it in some type of way. So they're not really a spiritual person when they do that. And they don't even give credit at all to the person. Okay. So this is somebody that presents themselves as very spiritual, but they're not, okay? They're not very authentic. And then we have here a karmic family member. So this is just exactly as what it says. There's a karmic family member in this situation that could be causing you guys to be, you know, stopped or stalled or in this frozen, like a statue type of state. And then we have karmic female. So it's a karmic female. This could be a friend, a lover, uh, even a, a family member, but it's a karmic female that's involved in this situation. Um, you could even be in a karmic female energy if you are going through, you know, just not feeling it, you know, like you just not a, in the best mood, you know, maybe you're angry or, you know, have some just dark energies you're going through. Then we have confused, wants you, but talks to, to you about other people they're interested in. So this would be somebody that is really confused at giving you like these weird vibes, like they're clearly into you, but then they're talking about like either dating other people and stuff like that and expecting that to be attractive to you. So this person is like completely confused. Okay. <laughs> they don't make any sense. And then we have narcissists, okay? Doesn't care who they step on. So as long as they get what they need, that's all they care about. So if they got step on you, then that's what they're gonna do. Then we have karmic friend. So this is somebody that, you know, maybe you you uh, view as a friend. Maybe they're here for a, a temporary time. You know, it could be days, weeks, a month. Uh, it could be even somebody that you work with or you met in a community, uh, but they're karmic. So they're most likely either to teach you something or they're not here for a long period. Diabolical, evil person. This person is just not good at all. They just really don't have any good intentions. They're in a very negative, uh, devil type of, uh, energy. Okay. Or they could be dealing with that, uh, a type of person, um, provoking, wanting a negative reaction. So this is somebody that, you know, is just going to provoke you to try to see what kind of reaction they get. Maybe they bring another person around you or say something. So I get back to you, but they want to you to react. Okay. And they're hoping for a negative reaction. So we have trollop, sexual favors for material items or money. So this is not necessarily somebody that is like, you know, a prostitute or anything like that, but, or even like, you know, <laughs> the first word came to my mind was hope. <laughs> but anyway, it's like they, they're willing to do things, but they want something out of it. Okay. 
Um, they want they want some type of gain. So whether it's money or you're going to buy them jewelry or rings or something like that, they do want, they expect something out of this, okay? It's not going to be for free. And then we have here caution. A karmic person is resurfacing. So this is somebody that maybe that um, was out of your life or out of your mind. You weren't even thinking about them anymore. But it's like spirit is like saying caution. This person is about to resurface again. Or they're about to come back up in the physical world or in your energy in some type of way. And then we have here frenemy pretending to be your friend, but plotting against you behind your back. So this is somebody that you actually view as your friend or somebody connected to you, uh, um, thinks that the person that is their friend, but they're actually a friend of me. It's like, they're acting all like, Hey, let's do this and stuff. But then they're talking all this negative stuff or plotting and planning to, you know, take you down in some type of a way, like, um, you know, with jealousy. Okay. Like they're, they're plotting, like they're not really hoping that you succeed in some type of way. And then we have ratchet checking your phone or email. So this person is just pure ratchet. They just want to see what's on your phone, what you're doing. As you see, this person is showing the other one, like what's going on, what's on your phone. And like, they're really just checking everything that you do. Like they don't really trust you. And you know, once trust is lost, there's really no relationship. And then we have condescending talks down to you. So this is somebody that just like, they act like they're, you know, uh, more intelligent than you. Like you don't even know what you're talking about. And they just, there is just a negative vibe and you don't feel good around it. And you just, it, it causes uh, bad feelings or negative reaction uh, from you, from the way that they talk to you. And then we have a habitual time waster. Keeps coming back in the same uh, energy, but no offer. So this is somebody that just keeps coming back to you and confessing or pretending like they've changed or that things are going to be different, but it's like the same old thing. You're like, really? Did you really come back to me in the same energy? Okay. Nothing's changed. You are not offering me anything. You just really want to pick up when I clearly told you that's not what I want. And then we have opportunists only calls or texts when they need you. So like if they need you for something, they need you for money, they need uh, for to drop them off or advice about their problems or whatever it is. That's the only time you're going to hear from this person. Okay. And then we have entitled lives a privilege privileged life and treats everybody like shit. Okay. So this person, you know, they just feel like they're, you know, they have that I'm better than you vibes and not everybody that, um, has a privileged life treats people like this, but this person feels like everybody owes them something. So even if they don't have money, they feel entitled in some type of way. Then we have replacing, hooking up with other people. So this is somebody, either you or a, a person that you're inquiring about is hooking up with other people because they're trying to replace whatever they have with you, or you with them. And so they're just hooking up with other people just, you know, for whatever reason, whatever reason they have, they're just, they're trying to replace it. And then we have bad parents. So they always put uh, their own needs before children's needs. So this is somebody that is, it's what it says, a bad parent, you know, um, obviously, um, you have to put your needs, um, before children's, um, when it comes to being responsible in, in general. So I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about somebody that just like, you know, they're not really watching their kids. They let everybody else do it. And they're not really active in their life or anything. And they, they purchase and stuff for themselves and not their kids, you know, just a general, uh, bad parent. Okay. They have kids, but they're, they're bad. And then we have money issues up against the wall. So this is someone that's having money issues and they feel up against the wall. They may be facing deadlines or they don't know what to do. And then we have sweet talker, want something. So this is somebody that wants something. So they're going to be like buttering you up, talking a little bit sweeter, talking a little bit nice, but don't get it wrong or twisted. They really want something. They, they have a motive. And then we have out of time too little, too late. So either you feel it's too little, too late, or they feel like it's too, too little, too late for whatever reason. And then we have here a straight up liar, just like what it says. You can't believe a word they say. And like I put it, you can't belie, <laughs> believe a word they say, because that's all they do is lie. They're just always lying. It's like, which one is the truth? And just like, really, you just can't really believe anything they say. Um, Content, satisfied with the current state, even if it's not good. So this could be somebody that is like, you know, things are just not 
what they would like them to be or how they would like them, but they're satisfied. So they're not interested in really, you know, changing or doing anything. They just feel um, content. Okay. Even if it's not good, they feel that I'm satisfied with it. Like this person or this situation is enough for me to survive. Okay. <laughs> so they're just content. And then we have envy, jealous of someone else's, someone else's success. So they're just, you know, this is just a jealous person, okay? Envious over what other people have, either their relationship is successful or money, finance, whatever it could be. And then we have know-it-all, unsolicited advice, annoying. So this is somebody that thinks they know everything, okay? And they always want to give you unsolicited advice, even though you didn't ask them for nothing. And they're just annoying, okay? They're just annoying to you in that way. And then we have malicious, refuses to take responsibilities, trying, tries to ruin your reputation. So this person may like even like spread lies about you because whatever reason they're in their feelings about it, but they just malicious, they won't take responsibility. And instead of just, you know, saying that they were wrong, they act the complete opposite. Okay. So then we have scrub. Okay. Won't work, lives off other people. Just like that. They just, they don't like to work. They don't like to have a job. They like to just work off other people. You know, they, they don't really, they don't really care to have things on their own. They're, they're perfectly fine with that. And then we have spiritual thief steals from readers, spiritual people, and creates fake accounts. So this is somebody that, um, could be, uh, creating fake accounts, um, especially like if you're in business and, um, they're pretending to be you, um, they are acting like they're spiritual, like offering stuff. So even if it's not like for uh, tarot readers, which this is about like, you know, readings and stuff like that, they are not who they say they are. They're, they're pretending to be somebody. So they're actually just dealing to try to get some type of financial um, gain. Okay. Um, so definitely look out for that. <laughs> Those people, any of you guys that are uh, tarot readers, cause it's a lot of them. Um, Nervous breakdown. So can't cope or financial stress. Okay. So someone is really feeling like, you know, really broke down, you know, like these drums here, like you're about to just really just lose it here. And because either they have a lot of financial stress or they just can't cope, whatever the situation is, uh, that is going on. Then we have betrayal throws you under the bus. So this is somebody that you feel, um, a heart, you know, you are connected in a heart way, emotions. You don't think that they would ever do this, you know, but you feel, but yet they kind of betrayed you. They kind of threw you under the bus. Like they didn't take, you know, responsibility or blamed it on you or whatever. Like you were waiting for them to show up and they just ran right all over this heart right here. Okay. And then, um, thief. So this is exactly what it says. You're just, you dealing with a thief, you know, somebody that steals or this could have to do with the law. So it doesn't have to just do with thief, but a lot of times this is what that energy is going to be, um, that you're dealing with some type of thief. And then we have selfish. Okay. Looking for the next best thing. Like, you know, they're just not satisfied. You know, they just really care about themselves. And so it's like, Hey, I don't like this color or that color. Like these paint in here. What's the next best thing? They're not really like, they haven't really, um, come into a spiritual waking awakening. Okay. Cause they're always just thinking things are better. Like the grass is greener type of energy. And then we have handout looking for something for free. So this person is just really want something for free. Okay. It could be food. It could be money. It could be anything, but they're looking for something. It could be like, you know, um, products from you, if you're in business or your services, your time, they want something for free. Like they don't want, they don't want to, uh, pay for it. Um, and then we have here inconsistent passion, hot and cold. So this person, like you feel like one moment they're like all in it. And the next minute they're cold, like their passion isn't consistent with, you know, what they present themselves. So they could present themselves in a way that, Oh, I'm all in this. Oh, I can do all this for you. And then it's not really what they say there are. It's really not consistent. Their words aren't consistent with the passion that they, um, speak if that makes sense. Okay. All right. And then we have male detective. All right. So this is basically what it, it says. This is somebody that is kind of like inspecting things. 
um, watching you, trying to find out stuff about you or just observing you, okay, it could also be, you know, an actual uh, detective, you know, somebody in there. Um, this person could also like motorcycles or like to just stay hidden behind a, um, a mask as well, okay? So we have wasted, waste of time. So this is somebody that you just feel like it's just, they waste your time. Okay. Maybe you went out on a date or online or something like that. And you went to meet up with them. You're like, Oh my God, this, this was a complete waste of my time. Why did I even do this? You, you may even be keep looking at your watch and everything. Okay. And then we have here sexual only, no real emotion. So this person is like really only here for the sex. They're not really showing any real emotions or they don't have any to offer at this time, but that's what they're, the energy they're in. Now this is, you know, obviously the person could change, but that's, uh, that comes out, that's where they're at. They're just in for the sex. And then we have easily triggered. So this person is just easily triggered from either something you said, something somebody else said, something they see, whatever it is, they just get really, really triggered, you know, very uh, quickly. And then we have political conflict, different, uh, different beliefs that interferes with the relationship. So uh, one of you guys could be a Democrat, the other one could be a Republican, um, or it could just be like you are, um, you have, you believe in Buddhism and they believe in, uh, you know, Catholic beliefs and it's a conflict. So it doesn't just have to be political for this card, but it interferes with the relationship and causes conflict where it's, you know, is causing a lot of stress to the point whether you don't know if you will be able to maintain this. And this comes from everything from raising kids, um, living life and stuff like that. Okay. Um, bitter, good guy gone bad. So this was a guy that, you know, was good, but then he, you know, he went bad because he got bitter either over how he was treated or something happened to him, but he's just in this bitter energy. Okay. Of course they, like I said, they don't have to stay in that, but that's the energy that they could be in if that card comes up. And then we have gold digger values money over love. So just as simple as that money is the most important thing. I think to them than love. Okay. Like this man here is on this runaway. It's like, he just want to show, you know, show off, show what he got. Uh, this can be, you know, a man or a woman, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, but they are more interested in, in the money situation. Okay. Um, then, then love. And then we have avoidance doesn't want to label the relationship. So this is somebody that like avoids subjects, conversations about love or about taking the relationship to the next level or says things like, I don't like labeling the relationship, you know, uh, or of girlfriend or boyfriend or people that like, I don't want to say it's a soulmate or a twin flame or a, whatever that is. It's like they try to avoid uh, putting a label on it. Okay. Where everything pretty much has labels, whether people believe in them or not, <laughs> everybody labels everything. And I don't know why people are triggered by labels, but anyways, <laughs> that's just my two cents. So anyway, annihilate. So intentions to destroy or remove someone from the picture. So this is somebody that is like, they don't want to see you guys together. So they're going to like, you know, do what they need to do to have you not in the picture. So if this is making up lies, moving somewhere, getting a person to move, they just want to get you out of the picture. Okay. Um, that's what that energy is about. I'm going to take a quick sip of water. <clears throat> and then we have cheater. Okay. So this is somebody that is a cheater. Um, whether they've done it once or twice, multiple times, um, you know, or they could be cheating somebody out of a situation, but that's, you know, pretty much self-explanatory. And then we have secrets. Okay. So this is going to be something that you don't know, maybe something behind a closed door, something uh, in a hotel or something, but this is something that you don't know. Okay. Maybe you have a suspicion, uh, but it hasn't been confirmed yet. And we have trickster, use your friends to get to you. So this is somebody that may like deliver messages to your friends or say something, th things to try to get some type of reaction, but they use your friends, maybe even your family to get to you, to get a response, you know, to get you to uh, trigger, trigger a reaction. 
And then we have mind games. So this is somebody that just, you know, they play a lot of mind games. They'd be like, you know, making you feel all confused, like you crazy, because they just like to play a lot of mind games. Like, I didn't say that when they did say it or whatever it is, you know, that they trying to get you all in your mind where it just makes you feel like, what? Okay, you just said this yesterday. Oh, no, I didn't mean that or whatever. They just like to play a lot of mind games, okay? So then we have got served karma. So this is somebody that got served their karma. They could even got served with uh, papers as well, okay? Um, but yeah, it was some type of karma that they were served though. And then we have fed up. Okay, done with being Mr. Nice Guy. So this is somebody that is like, whether it's a guy or a girl, this is one somebody that's just fed up. They're tired of being nice because maybe people are walking over them, but they're just done being Mr. Nice Guy. So they're like, okay, I'm changing that energy. I'm no longer going to allow this. And then we have, yeah, uh, uh, no. <laughs> Um, wanting you to do something ridiculous. So like you see this person is like they're eating fire or whatever. And it's like they want you to do something ridiculous. It don't have to be as ridiculous as this, but something you view as ridiculous. Like, you know, maybe they want you to like, um, I don't know, uh, take a week off and, you know, you can't afford to do it or something like that. Or they want you to... Uh, fly all the way to them, but they don't want to pay any money for it. But it's something like that. And you're like, uh, yeah, a uh, no, <laughs> that's, that's what that is. And then we have the poser. Okay. Faking a happy relationship online, uh, or in public. So this is somebody that's just faking it. They taking pictures, they posing and doing all this stuff, but they're not happy at home. I don't care what they're showing online or in public. It's, it's a fake. They're a poser. And then we have jilted, okay, left at the altar, a runaway uh, bride or groom. And so this is somebody, this is as simple as that. They were jilted. Um, they either left the, the altar or somebody left them, but now they feel jilted and, you know, like in a jaded kind of a energy. They're not happy, okay? And um, wishy-washy. So this is somebody that is like that wishy-washy back and forth energy. They want to offer your love, but look, you see he has a blindfold on, but because it, it's like he's still not really seeing something and it kind of just makes you feel like, okay, you offer me this, but you're not giving me all of it. You just really wishy-washy, you know, it's kind of like a mixed signal type of energy too. So cancel canceling plans with you. So this is somebody that cancels plans with you. You you make arrangements, they cancel. It could be a one time they cancel with you or it could be um, something they do often. They could do it at the um, last minute or if something else comes up, they just cancel um, uh, plans with you, okay? And this also could be you canceling them <laughs> as well. And then we have family demands. So this is um, career or relationship choices. So this person has like family demands that may like, maybe they want to do a, a go in a certain direction with their career or the relationship, but their family demands, um, like their financial, whatever, you know, causes them to choose like a more higher paying job or something like that. Okay. So that's kind of like what that energy is, or I want to be more wealthy off, you know, I want to be more well off. So I'm, I'm choosing a partner that, you know, can contribute uh, financially. And if I'm, you know, just okay, content in the relationship, I'm going to do that just to supply the demands of my family. Then we have concealed sexual items discovered. So this could be somebody that had something concealed and then they have some uh, sexual items discovered. This could be like, <laughs> it could be like rubbers or toys or even, you know, sexual preference, um, but it's concealed and you don't, you didn't know about it. Um, maybe you found out about it over some drinks or something like that, but it was concealed. You didn't, you didn't know about it. Okay. Or they didn't know about it or they're, they are concealing it. So we have conceded things. Everybody wants them. So this person is just full of them. They just think that everybody wants them, that, that they're all that, that just, everybody is just falling over them. They just really all about themselves. Okay. They just think they're, they're great at everything. Okay. And then we have mean girls gossiping, uh, about you. So this is just, this is somebody that's talking about you and they're being mean about it. They're not really saying anything nice, but they are talking about you. Okay. Or, you know, if you, wh wherever you pick this card up in the reading and then we have schooling. 
lesson at hand. So right now, if you get this card, that means there's a current lesson at hand. Somebody's learning something or you're learning something, but there is a lesson here at hand, okay? It could be karmic or it could even be just, you know, learning something, taking things to a, 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 ne a next level or like a class or something like that. And then we have family standards, feeling not good enough. So this is somebody that is not feeling like whatever they want is good enough for their family, okay? Like their family may expect them to be with a certain type of person and they feel like whoever this person or this um, career choice that they want um, is not good enough for them. Like they're not going to accept their choice. Okay. And then we have a female detective. So this is a female that's watching uh, or um, keeping an eye out on somebody or involved in, a, in the equation. Um, could even be, you know, um, looking up stuff researching things on you or somebody. And then we have not on the menu. Someone doesn't want kids. So this would obviously cause a problem in a relationship where the other person wants kids. Uh, sometimes people get together with people that they don't really want kids and, you know, they just, you know, have them for whatever, you know, just to say that they want it, but they really don't participate or they just flat out don't want kids. Okay. They don't, they don't want it. And it's not on their menu. And then we have Miss Perfect. Thinks they are better than you. So this person also thinks that they got it all together. You know, they are wearing this crown. And they just think that whatever they do is better than um, th than you. I'm hearing and my milkshake brings out because <laughs> you yeah, damn right. It's better than yours. That. So it's kind of like that. And so this could be, you know, it can come up in an innocent kind of a way too with this Miss Perfect because it could also be somebody that's just trying to achieve uh, being perfect, okay, with their fashion, their appearance, and things like that. So don't always have to be negative. Um, then we have Here We Go Again, Please, Once Another once another Chance. So this is somebody that you've given a chance to more than once, more than twice. It's been probably three or more times. They just want another chance. It's just like, oh my God, here we go again. Are you going to get it together this time? you know, and they're, you know, probably even possibly begging. And then we have a karmic male. So this could be you dealing with a karmic male. You could even be in this energy going through a, a cycle or somebody in the equation, but they're here for some type of lesson. Okay. Or they're going through a lesson. And then we have leech annoying, won't leave you alone. So this is somebody that just keeps on bothering you. They won't leave you alone. Maybe they want your phone number. Maybe they want you to call them or date them or something like that, or they want something and they just won't leave you alone. They're just very annoying. They're just really leeching onto your energy and you just like wish they would, you know, kind of, you know, just go away or get interested in something else. And then we have deny doesn't want to claim you in public. Okay, so this person, like, they're not, they're okay with, like, um, seeing you maybe uh, on the down low or acting like your friends if you have a romantic connection, but they don't want to claim you, like, hey, this is not, you know, this is not my boyfriend, this is not my girlfriend or whatever. They don't want to claim, so they, they're denying that, at least to other people, um, and maybe even you. And then we have man child. So adult that acts like a child. So this person, you know, it's just as simple as that. This person acts like a child, but they're an adult. So they may make decisions based on children or act childish. Uh, like if the child, like, I don't want to do that. And then they know that they are the one that needs to step in and take control. They just allow that to, uh, you know, take place. And then we have rotten, a uh, good girl gone bad. So this is also, I had a, you know, the good guy gone bad card too. So this is somebody that was very nice, very sweet, but whatever happened, it's like now uh, this good girl could be lashing out and just not um, in a very good uh, energy, okay? So we have follower. Does what everyone else is doing or expects. So this person doesn't have a mind on their own. They always let everybody else take the lead, do what everybody else wants them to do, what everybody says or expects. It's like they don't take control of their own life, okay? Um, mistress, viewed as the enemy in a third-party relationship. So this is somebody, obviously, a mistress in like a, a married a relationship or a long-term commitment, but viewed as the enemy because 
the other person. Now, this could be the other person didn't know that they were put in a situation where they're a mistress or they could have known. Or this could be like everybody's mad at the mistress when they should be mad at the person that was in the relationship or the marriage or the uh, commitment. OK, because that's the person that had the marriage or the commitment. And then we have a karmic lover. So this could be somebody that you are involved with or a uh, person you're connected to and involved with, but they're a karmic lover. So they may just be here for a temporary time or to teach you something, but that they are karmic. Okay. And then we have here a convenient friend, not a true friend. So this person is really not a true friend. You may have viewed them as a, you, a true friend. True friend, you may have known them for a long time, even years, but you may learn that hey, they're only really there out of convenience, and you may realize or come to discover <clears throat> that they're not really a true friend. Okay, like <clears throat> I need to sip some water. Hold on. <clears throat> They only there when they like, it's convenient for them. Okay. Like if they don't have to go out of their way or change any plans, even if you could be like really needing them, they're just, if it's convenient, then they'll be a true friend. Otherwise they're not. Okay. And then we have Joker lives in hypocrisy and enjoys it. So this person is just hypocritical. Okay. So this could even be like for even like, uh, um, you know, heavy religious people that like, oh, you can't do this, but then you see them out doing it, or it's a sin, you know, to have all these things, but then you see them driving in a really nice car or something like that. But they like, they're really just a joke. Okay. Because it's like the things that they say they believe in, they're actually not practicing it. And then we have stalker, an insecure male or female. Okay. Someone just keeping uh, in the shadows, watching you and, um, just what it says, a stalker. All right, so now I'm going to show you how you can use all these cards together. I'm just going to do this up one time. All these cards I shuffle, but I'm going to shuffle them each three times around just so you um, can see how this goes. All right, and I'm going to do all of these here. And I'm going to show you. And basically what I'm going to get is... Uh, masculine and feminine. I'm going to see what is the current situation between them and um, how the feminine is feeling, how the masculine is feeling, and uh, current challenges and uh, karmic cycles or energies that are at play and um, what the uh, outcome might be in the situation. Okay. So. Right. Almost done. <laughs> if I can pick these up, it would be nice. All right. And so while I'm shuffling this, just so you guys know, I do have tutorials for all of my decks, okay? So if you're wanting to get further information about them, um, just look on my playlist for um, decks that I've created, and it will be there, okay? Instructional videos, tutorials, uh, something like that. Uh, but there is a playlist, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and pull all of these cards out. I got to count these, make sure I got them all out. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, so I haven't done um, this in a while. Okay. So the current situation between the masculine and the feminine right now is there is some type of trigger. And it has to do with either a name, a car, a, a place. Someone may drive a luxury car, maybe even a particular an Audi. But something is triggering um, the connection right now. Or they're both feeling triggered at this time. So um, we have here... Uh, for the masculine, I miss holding you and touching your skin. So this could be triggering the masculine at this time. Um, you, okay, you could be trigger triggering this masculine at this time, and they could be thinking about you because they miss you, okay. And clearly they do, because we have hi, it's me again, one in another chance. So this is somebody that you know either you cut it off from them or they cut it off from you, but they want another chance. Because they're missing you. They're feeling triggered right now in this connection. So the feminine is feeling like, I feel like I'm cursed. Okay. So she doesn't really have a lot of faith in this. So she's being triggered by this. She could be triggered by maybe she saw um, this masculine's car or a place they used to live at or work. Or she saw their name. But there's a trigger. So both of you guys are being triggered in a different way. Feminine is feeling cursed. The masculine is triggering where he wants to reach out. He wants to uh, touch the feminine here. And then we have this decision. If I give everything up for you, will you stay by my side? So there is a question here. So there's a decision about possibly going towards you or you them about getting an, um, having another chance together. Because now we have here reunited, twin flame. So some of you guys, this could be a twin flame connection, finally back together. So I do feel like this masculine is being triggered by possibly wanting to be reunited with you guys um with the feminine because he's missing her he's wanting to touch her skin he really does want another chance but she feels cursed for whatever reason um because maybe the masculine hasn't um stepped up to the plate offered her anything really um solid um uh, but you both feel um, like you are resonating with each other. So you resonate with my soul. So I do feel like there is a decision on the table here about possibly giving another chance. So there is a trigger here. And we have the EMF detector, energy presence, mood swings. So I do feel like you guys are really connecting. Okay, you are connecting into the energy presence of each other. It could be causing you to have these mood swings because we do see this trigger. So I do feel like both of you guys are being triggered, but for different reasons. Okay, the masculine is feeling more triggered because they're missing you. And you're feeling more triggered because you feel like you're cursed. Like there's always some type of issue or problem about coming um, together. Okay, like, you know, re resonate, but it feels like there's always a problem. And then now we have here um, the Hierophant. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Taurus. Um, this is also um, having to do with the belief system, spiritual beliefs, even political conflict, which I'll pick that card up in, in, a, in a second. Um, this also could be guidance. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Taurus here, but there is something here that I feel like could be guiding the both of you and it could be the triggers, the triggers of the past, triggers that you're seeing, triggers by, by their name, okay? But something is making you, the feminine feel cursed. That's the energy that she's kind of uh, plugged in right now. And it could be because you guys have a political conflict, an actual political conflict or religious cultural difference conflict, different beliefs that interferes with the relationship. OK, so this could be about making a decision, children, parenting that's coming in here, that's interfering with this relationship. Even though you truly have a deep spiritual connection, we do see this. OK, this person does want another chance and they may show up in your energy, even in the physical or just where you connecting with them. So what we see here are the hand of cards. This is the result. Somebody may be thinking about taking a chance or a risk, or they see it as risky, even though they want to. It may they may feel like it's it's too much of a risk. And then we have being strategic, uh, strategic options, not showing hand gambling. So I do I do feel like somebody feels like it's a risk. The both of you guys could be feel like a risk to get involved with this person, or the person may feel it's a risk because of the differences that you guys have or the triggers. 
uh, that they have with their belief system. Um, but it's a risk. And so this person is really not showing you their true feelings right now. And this also could be triggering you for some of you guys. Okay. All right. So that is the sum up of the reading. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial for my new deck cords and it is available on my site um, or my Etsy shop. Okay. So the link is below or in my about me uh, page on my channel. Okay. All right. So thank you guys so much. Hit the like button and thank you so much for all your support of all of my decks. I truly do appreciate each and every one of you. I view all of these as my little babies. So thank you so much. Oh God. Okay. You guys. So I will be in touch with you the next time I make my next videos and my next decks, I should say. All right. Bye for now. Peace, love, and light.